Hi and welcome back to a new video. Today is about breakups, ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriends. And I'm doing this video or I'm recording this video because I posted this template. I will put it somewhere here. And um, I got so many votes for, I think it's number 32, unsaid words to your ex. And I was just wondering why. So I asked a few people that asked me um, unsaid words to your ex why they vote voted for that one just because I was curious so I just asked them not like no offense or I don't know um, and they or not everyone but a few answered me so um, they said that they just have so much time now because of the self-isolation that they start overthinking about all the things they wanted to say to their ex and also not just ex-boyfriend, maybe someone they were, were dating or someone they were, I don't know, hanging out with, kind of having a thing with. So I thought I will make this video here to talk about that. To be honest, I think there are no unsaid words, I mean from my side, to one of my ex-boyfriends. Oh my god, that sounds like I had a thousand ex-boyfriends. I had two, I would say I had two um, relationships that I would count as a relationship. I won't count the relationship I had when I was in high school. I don't know, I think that's not, that wasn't really a relationship, whatever. So I'm a person, I always need to get things from my chest. Is that the right way to say it? I'm happy that both of my breakups, sounds weird, but so my first wake up was when I was, I think I was 19 or 20 with my relationship. But um, I remember that we, we, didn't have, we didn't have an argument. We just figured out it's not working. So we talked about that and every, everything was said and said as a I D, not said as a D. Oh my God. So. Yeah, and then we ended it and well there was a few things a little bit drama after that but that doesn't matter everything was said and it was done and it was finito and so the second breakup well we had a breakup before and then had another breakup when I was in New Zealand and I just realized for me it's not working it's not fair. I don't feel good when I'm here following my dreams. So I ended it and I talked about everything that was going on in my head. And I think if you do that, if you talk about when you break up, if you're not like, yeah, if you talk about why and if you figure out for yourself why it's not working, then that's it, you say that, and after that, just close the chapter and move on, and don't, like, think about this conversation again and again, because if you made the decision, or if the other one made the decision, let's say someone's breaking up with you, and you you didn't want to break up, um, I think it's just, we kind of have to accept it, and actually you have to know you are worth more if someone's breaking up with you they lost so <laughs> that's it and um yeah i think now that we all are in self-isolation we are kind of stuck with our thoughts and that might be why we are overthinking and also think about our exes and go through all photos and let me say let me tell you one thing, of course you will always only see happy photos. You won't see a photo or a video where you guys have an argument. So that's the thing, when you scroll to your photos, through your photos, and you see all the beautiful and nice memories, please remember that there were all that there were also times when you weren't happy and of course there's no photo of 
you and your girlfriend or boyfriend when you were sad or when you had an argument. So let me tell you that. Don't overthink, don't scroll through old photos that show all the happy memories because there's a reason why you two are not together anymore. So I was just editing this video and I thought I might put this video in because I forgot to tell you something. A little tip, so because when you scroll to, so scroll to your photos you just see the happy things. So my tip is start a diary if you haven't started one yet and always write down your feelings because then when you look back you can also see or read the things that went wrong in your relationship and remember why you broke up or maybe why he might broke up. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say and I can't really see if I'm focused because the sun is like shining in my face so <laughs> can't really focus but I hope it's focused. That's it. So don't think about the past and about your ex. Ex is an ex for a reason. So look forward, be in the present and move on. Focus on yourself, know that you're worth more. So yeah, that's it. That's my video. I hope you liked it. So thumbs up and subscribe. And yeah, so you won't miss any videos and let me know what you want me to talk about because there's so much time to talk about things. Let's go. <laughs> See ya.